Do you hear that? That. Oh, I hate that sound. That sound has driven me up walls yet to be invented. And unfortunately online, what I see way too often is stuff that amounts to alchemy for getting rid of something as simple as a ground loop. A little bit of USB hum. Things equivalent to, well, you need to put the frozen spaghetti on it, but only on Tuesday after 4 p.m. And that'll, no. Mm. I'm going to show you two things that absolutely work. But first, let me show you two things that absolutely won't. I don't want you to waste your money. Up first, good solid piece of kit that's constantly recommended that I'm holding upside down. I love it so much. Um, the Furman Merit Series Power Conditioner. Now, this is the solution to power, which is true. However, on the back, man, check it out. Noise filtering to reduce radio. Maybe it does that. Maybe it does spike and surge protection. It does absolutely have eight power plugs on it for my 19 inch rack. And that's why I bought it. However, it will not break ground loops. So if you have a hum in your system in your audio chain, womp womp up next big honking power supplies with sine wave technology. They don't do anything to eliminate ground loops or hum, but people online claim they do. This is false. Buy one of these. Buy a couple of these if you would like to stay connected. When the power goes out, I highly recommend them for that. I like a PC. They've done me good in the past. And I just realized this has a USB-C port on it. Curious. I might make use of that. Now let's talk about what I use in the studio to murderate hum, starting with Pile. Compact mini hum eliminator box. Two-channel passive ground loop isolator. Noise filter, AC buzz destroyer, hum murderator. There's nothing to this. No power, no batteries, nothing. It is the just simple pile PHE 300. I love it. They're cheap. You can get them for under 20 wet, stinky American caches. It's awesome. The way they work, you can just do a mono in or stereo in. So you can get two channels in. Two channels out or one stereo pair in, one stereo pair out. They're brilliant. Then you can adapt that, you know, to 3.5 from a quarter inch or anything else that you might want to use. Up next, Adium 3160 USB voltage isolators. Yeah, I, I could just keep getting these. They're like candy. Mainly, let's just go ahead and be honest. I keep these around because they're varying quality. These are about $15 a piece. And what they do is break the ground loop in USB. What I did is I just plugged in a nice little two, you know, two channels out, one channel in, USB DAC, because that's the max you can use with these. They uh, only support USB to high, not full. So you're looking at about 12 megabits to send through them. But if you have like a two channel mixer or a sound card, plug it right in, boom, instantly quiet. It's brilliant. I love them and they're cheap. You can get both of these on Amazon. There'll be links to the description, to the description. How about a link in the description at the bottom of the page to pick these up? There you have it. You know how to murderate hum. Go forth and make some hum-free nonsense. Isn't that right, Gandalf? That's right.